वेलकम टू अनादर वीडियो एंड टुडे आई एम गोना शो हाउ आई मेड दिस बैग सो टू स्टार्ट विद आई हैव माय फोल्डर हियर आई एम गोना मेक द बैग ऑफ दिस साइज कटिंग मैट ऑन द फ्लोर दिस डायरी माय मेजरिंग टेप सम चॉक पीसेस This is a great help from um, homemade rulers. And yes, uh, I'll use this piece. Uh, if you have seen my tie dye video, I had dyed this patchwork. Uh, the color is not come great because this was the failure version. I did not try uh, dyeing this again. For the lining, I'll have to use something else. Which I don't have here. I have to get it. Uh, I am also planning of putting this inside to make the bag a little soft. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Also, uh, I want to make this bag water resistant. Mm -hmm. The packaging bag that came with my cutting mat, mm. and uh, I had to tear it to take out the mat. Uh, so here it is. So I'm gonna cut this and use it. Sketching and measuring. So this is how I've planned it. Mm, the bag here and here you have a flap with burlap and two handles. Okay, one from the front, one from the back. But the pattern might change as we go about it. Here is the shirt that I'm gonna use as a lining. So we have the plastic, the lining, the sponge, and the jeans. Here is the right order. I'm making a pocket for the lining. That's how it looks after all the layers are stitched together. I had a kid's trousers and uh, I thought of making the borders using the trousers. But before that, I had to make sure that all the angles are 90 degree and I have a proper rectangle with me. And here you have the rectangle. I did the top and the bottom border and also stuck the velcro. I did the borders and now the final stitching is left. Did you note how much the velcro makes noise? Well, I realized it later on and uh, I trimmed that velcro a little, which you will see uh, in the last clip. Here is the denim belt, which I'm going to use as handles for this bag. And that's ready. Showing off my tiger hill, I trimmed the velcro a little, and I'm very happy with the results. This is a normal folder size, and it fits in perfectly. Also, you can accommodate more books, stationery, pouch, etc., and it's really convenient to uh, travel also. I have used old clothes for this bag as I have mentioned in the video and I want to be honest on the channel. I want to reduce the uh, landfills that happen due to our clothing wastes and therefore I use um, the old clothes or the clothes that don't fit us or something that is just torn a little and which you can't wear and I upcycle them to make new products. You might think that I'm making a lot of profit as I'm upcycling 
but the story may not be that way uh, as there is a lot of process that goes into upcycling. I have to collect, I have to segregate and keep them according to the colors. Then I have to search according to the project that I'm making. Then undo the stitches, then to create a patchwork and then make a new product. So it's a very long process. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to my channel to see more videos. Comment down and see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. Mogasun.